Hey everyone, my name is Mikay and welcome to my life in Maine. On today's video, magre-review tayo ng dalawang pink keyboards. The first is the Luce VK110 Fate Night and the other is, kasi I'm not sure kung paano i-pronounce yung name ng brand pero I think I'm guessing it's AO, yeah? And then the model is K169. Alright, so let's start with the price. So, itong Zeus, I got this from the Zeus official store. So, Lazada and it costs 859 pesos. Ito namang K169. So, K169 na rin yung tawag sa kanya. Um, in K169, I got this for 1499 I got this from Shopee. So, if you guys are thinking, parang never nyo pang narinig tong brand na to or nabasa when you're browsing online. Um, normally kasi yung description para dito is either pink gaming girl or pink gamer girl, pink fashion girl. Ganon. Hindi siya describe as yung brand niya. So, for the build, let's start with the Zeus keyboard. So, dito sa Zeus, um, if you can see, like, pink siya, plastic. Plastic siya all over. And then, dito sa back, yun yung itsura nga. Meron siyang white na rubber feet. And then, meron siya dito yung mga adjust. There. Okay, and then, everything's plastic. Yung flex niya, actually, ito, hindi ito masyado na nakuflips in. Alas wala. And then, sa front naman, yung sa bezels na or yung sa sides niya, it's, it's just okay. Hindi siya super manipis, hindi din siya super makapal. I mean, for me, parang ito yung perfect na size. For me, okay. And then, let us go sa K169. K169, um, same material, same sila, both plastic. They have the same feel. Pero pagdating mo sa likod, it has ridges. Not sure if you guys can see it um, because of the light, pero mayroon siya dyang ridge here. So, hindi siya smooth, parang yung sa Zeus. Ayan. Okay, and then mayroon din siyang rubber feet na kulay pink. And, meron din siyang, dito, hina-adjust na legs para dito sa tilt. And, napansin ko lang, is mas makapal yung sa Zeus na ganito, na support. Pero, in terms din sa height, if nakaganyan sila, it's just the same. Hi, pag dito naman din sa front, yung bezels naman na to, it is thicker. Yeah, actually, para sa akin, this is just to stay. Pero yun, it's, it's, I think, doble nung compared din sa Zeus. Um, and I guess that is the reason kung bakit wider. Wider siya. Compared din sa isa. Pero, hindi, hindi naman sobra, sobra. It's just a bit wider. I click us nga nito. Okay, and then, yung sa flex, flex, at Legs test. Ito. And mas ano ka. Hindi din siya masyado na nakikinig. Pero, compared na sa isa, mas meron itong movement. Not sure if you guys can see. Pero, yeah, it, it moves a bit, a lot more. But when it comes to typing, they're just the same. Hindi naman to lumulubog sa gitna. Pag pinipindak. Okay, and then next, we will compare their keycaps and yung the rest na aesthetics ng both keyboards. So, let's start with the Zeus keyboards. So, natanggal ko na yung isang <laughs> keycap niya. So, yung keycap niya is ABS plastic. Okay. 
Okay, and then if we compare it to the A, oh yeah, it's the same. It's also, they're both, yeah, they're both ABS. Plastic. Ang difference lang, I think, nila. So, pareho kasi silang paws. So, halos same din sila ng height. Same din sila ng, yun. And they are exactly the same. Ang difference lang na napansin ko dito is with the font. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Pero, okay, baka sa sila ng font. Yung sa 169, mas malalaki, eto siya. Mas malalaki yung font nito. If i-compare mo dito sa this. And I, I think overall, mas maganda yung font na ginagamit nila sa Zeus compared dito sa so 169 kasi parang medyo gigantic in the thing. And then, yeah, so since we've already looked at that, let's just look at other things muna before we go to lights. But it has a wheel, so ang function lang ng wheel niya is to change the light effect and then ito um yeah for the forward and then forward back then yan. but um i haven't really tried these so pag pinagamit siya parang walang nangyayari um so i guess box and music ganyan uh napapansin ko lang nagwo-work siya para doon sa numlock so nag-iilaw to if ilalagay mo siya sa numlock and then for the zeus naman wala siya nun but it has the uh, standard lights up here. Alright, so let's now do the light show. <laughs> the light test. Honestly, I prefer yung lights ng Zeus. Same lang naman sila, di ba? Halos ng mga colors na ginamit. Almost. Pero, ang uh, yung reason lang kasi why I like yung sa Zeus better is parang medyo parang less saturated na. Bag, parang mas heavier kasi yung dating dito sa 169. O yung kagandahan naman kasi dito sa keyboard ng 169, hindi mabali. For the switches naman, they are both, they both use blue switches. Yung si Zeus, and then this one is the one six nine. I did not get much information regarding dun sa switch nito ng one six nine. It did not say anything with a box and wala din kasi ako makita na inscription anywhere. So I'm not sure what it is. 
uh, for the Zeus naman, I saw this as Zeus official. Na it is a, a Zeus switch. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure so if you would read the description they're talking about yung, um, Zeus Fate Night Elite. And the Fate Night Elite would have the Zeus switch. And then, yan, this lang sinasabing knob. But this does not have a knob. And I don't think this is the elite version. Kasi ever since ito lang yung nakakita ko um, Fate Night. But I did see a review done by somebody um, dito din sa YouTube. It's for a different keyboard. Pero they had an option to choose the Zeus, Zeus Switch. And they look pretty much the same. So yeah, I mean, it, and it makes sense, diba? It's it's made by Zoom, so why not use their own switch? Alright, and then when it comes to yung pagiging clicky ng switch, yeah, let's now do a sound check. So, yung sa Zoom sa keyboard, it's a lot clickier. I mean, may marinig kang metallic na noise, whereas yung sa um, K169, it's still clicky, pero it's medyo mas subdued compared dun sa Zoom. For the user experience, pagdating dito sa Zoom, um, this really feels like a blue suit. I mean, it's, it's easy to press, and it does feel like a blue switch. Pagdating naman dito sa, sa K169, so, nakita mo kanina na it is blue, but if you use this, if you press on this, you know, for me, this just feels too light. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it feels different. Parang, mafe-feel mo pa rin naman yung switch or yung, yeah, yung parang click there. Pero, it, it just feels so light. Na, to the point na nung una, iniisip ko kung red ba, yung napunta sa akin. Um, one other difference between them, I guess, is pagdating dito sa use, I have problems with this pagdating sa pagtatay. So, I used this for four months. Um, and during those four months, sobrang pansin mo na it skips letters. Like, hindi lahat ng letter na pinipindot mo nag-a-appear sa screen. Um, the reason that I chose na mag-switch from um, my old keyboard to this mechanical keyboard kasi before membering ng keyboard ko, I chose this kasi nga um, they said that it is more accurate, but the experience with this, it's it's not. Um, I can't say na may sira yung key, kasi pag pinindot mo siya isa-isa, it will work. Ang problema, if dire-diretso ka nagta-type, tapos lalo na ako pagdating sa work ko, office use lang, pray. I don't use this for gaming, I don't game. Um, so, pag nagta-type ako, nakatingin ako doon sa other screen ko, like, nakikita nyo sa likod, dalawa yung screens ko, usually pag nagta-type ako, andito yung tinatype ko, and then andito yung reference ko, ayun yung parang binabasa ko na, na kung saan nakabase yung tinatype ko. Anyway, so, ganun. So, minsan ang problema ko, so, type ako ng type, or halimbawa, nag-respond ako sa question ng isang tao, Hindi ko napapansin ko lang ko lang yung mga letters. So, I have to go back. Kasi kailangan kong, um, kailangan kong ayusin. And din man, yung iba, na pala pag sa chat, akala nila parang text pick ba ko ganun. Kasi kulang ko lang yung letters. Um, so yun, yun lang yung parang pinaka problema ko dito, which is honestly, malaka siyang problema. Which is also the reason kung bakit binili ako ng ibang keyboard. Ito naman so far, so I've used this for three weeks, pero hindi pa talaga yung three, four weeks kasi gawa ng Christmas holidays. Um, pero so far, okay naman pagdating dun sa accuracy. 
wala akong nagdo-double na letters, tapos wala akong missing na mga letters. Um, as compared dun sa Zeus na ngayon, yung letter P na may tendency ng mag-double aside dun sa mga kulang-kulang na letters. That's my review on the Zeus ZK110 and the Kaoya 61K169. So which one do you like better? Uh, please leave a comment below and if you have used either of them, please give me some feedback on ano yung experience nyo using both of those keyboards kasi I'm not sure. I'm just basing it on um, the units that I got or units that I bought. So I'm not even sure kung baka sira pa yung sa Zeus kaya sobrang hassle siya mag-type. Um, yeah, so please just let me know kung ano yung experience niya and which one you like better. So I will see you all again next time. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. Bye-bye.